May 22nd, 1 o'clock. This is Jim, Fat Cat Market Garden, Zone 7A, and I'm in the state of Delaware, right about in the middle. It's a cloudy, overcast day. It's 64 out. I still sweat up a storm picking these strawberries. Excuse me for moving my hand all around. It was uh, it was quite a chore, though, as I said in the earlier video. Now, here's uh, some new strawberry plants I plant. These are cab. They're supposed to have a giant berry on them. We'll wait. wait till next year and see. Whew, that took a little bit getting up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, on the strawberries, I don't know if you see this white powder. Let me walk over and show you. And that white powder's died to mesh this earth and uh, it needs to get on the ground to uh, help with any slugs. And there's a few slugs in here. I don't have too much slug, slug damage. And see, there's a lot of strawberries in here. They're just waiting. So I try to pick them so that even if they're not all the way ripe. And of course, there's a nice ripe one that I didn't get in there. <laughs> a couple. But uh, <coughs> that's going to happen. There's a garlic plant I planted last year. And some leaf leaves that I have to spread around to mulch really uh, let's missed one uh, uh, you're always missing them you know and it's like they're in here and you just gotta keep picking them so let me get back to the video sorry about that distraction <coughs> I had a big B day yesterday as you may or may not know, I had a shoulder operation. I couldn't use my arm back in February. I'm going to use, lift up a pan or two until about a week or two ago. Now the doctor boosted me up to five pounds. So a couple guys came over and helped me <coughs> go and fuel my highs and straighten them out. I had some queen cells. I had to make some splits. Now, these are my ball poles here. They're doing good. I got them as rudic, rudic cuttings earlier. I repotted them. Now, this hive here is an everwintered ankle blader nuke. And I have to split these, put these guys in full size, full size hive. I just saw one of the little girls going in there with uh, some pollen. Yeah, the strange thing about it is, oh, there it is with some pollen. You see this one here? It's black. And the yellow is just sort of golden. So, but here comes sort of another black one. I'm not sure if that's age or what it might be. Yeah. These are compost piles, each pallet box. And my neighbor's gonna help me pull a couple of these cedars here. I have three cedars I need to top. And this cherry right here. I'm gonna put my Arctic Kiwis down in here. So, now, over there, that's the row of blackberries. So oh, the cans are popping up there. The cattle lilies are here. <coughs> I planted them three years ago. And two more hives. And two nukes from splits. I have queen cells. So all in all things are uh, busy, so busy 
that's why I haven't been making any videos. And um, but I'll try to make a video every day or every other day. Set my mind on trying to share. There's just so much is going on right now. Um, you know, these strawberries are just so so prolific. I did my work last year and uh, reaping the rewards yeah. so underneath the leaves underneath the canopy of leaves they're just filled with strawberries as I said earlier this the white powder you see is diatomaceous earth so that's uh keep the slugs at bay but it has to get off the canopy so every time I go in I shake the top of the leaves so the diatomaceous earth sprinkles down and it doesn't hurt earthworms they sort of digest it actually passes through them so I see a couple more ripe strawberries and I know the strawberries in the bottom of that pail over there Probably getting squished. Need to take them in and process them. And yeah, oh, there's some chickens back there. Yeah. So hey, this is Jim signing off. Good luck with your gardening this year. Talk to you soon. Bye.